Hello! Today, a bit earlier, DuckDB was actually on the number one on Hacker News. And it's an embeddable SQL database that has plugins in R and Python, so you can use them directly. So I wanted to check it out. So firstly, I got this 12 gig file from Fannie Mae. So you can find this file when you Google Fannie Mae and Rapids AI. So it's about 12 gig in size. First thing I do is I run it through disk frame. I will just load the file into disk frame. As you can see, as you can see, disk frame can convert the file into disk frame in about just under two minutes. So let's have a look at the file. Um, it's got 31 columns. Look at the tail, the file. Okay, so it's populated. So say I want to do group by V2 and take the mean of the column V7 and that's how you would do it in disk frame. The number one takeaway from disk frame I would say is always use this source keep function because this analysis only requires the columns V2 and V7. So using source keep, it will only load the columns V2 and V7 into memory when doing the uh, group by. So this will make it a lot more efficient. So let's just run that. So as you can see, it returned the results in about 11 seconds. So you can run that again, and this time it's a bit quicker. And that's because uh, the first time we ran it, we were trying to do some garbage collection of the big file that was in red. So the second time it doesn't have to do that, so it's a bit quicker. It's you know somewhere between 10 to 4 seconds, 4 or 5 seconds between, depending on whether there's some garbage collection that needs to happen in between. So how does uh, DuckDB fare? So let's load DuckDB and we use the DBI connection interface to create a new table on the drive. And because it's a quite huge, a big file, so what I would do is I'll use the big reader package to split the file into 1 million rows each. And I'll just basically use this DB write table function to write a big table in DuckDB by reading the, the split files. So let's see how long it takes the big reader to split the files. Okay, as you can see, it took about a minute and a half to split this file into uh, smaller files. And you can see that it split the big file into 143 files. So what that means is uh, it's got about 143 million rows in this CSV. So what I will do next is I will do I will use this DB write table function and I'll write to this table inside called temp table and each table is one of the smaller files. You see here files is the big reader or the smaller files like this. So these are all the files and it's reading the files one by one. And appending them to this big table. So let's see how long that takes. Exactly, it finished in about four minutes. And uh, it's got a little bit of an error, but we can probably ignore that. It's probably not a big deal. So the performance is not that bad. So now let's do the same group by we did using disk frame. So group by v2 and do the mean of v7. Oh, we finished about six seconds. So let's do that again. Yep, it's pretty consistent, about five, six seconds. So that's on par with the disk frame if you do the source key. So, yep, and it does the, looks like it's done it. And uh, let's do another query to see how many rows it contains. So, yep, it's about 140 something million rows in there. So, it's not too bad. So let's see, so DuckDB also has the ability to read by CSV and put that into a database. So that's done by the read all CSV auto function. So let's give that a go. Well, unfortunately it didn't really work. So it's got this pass error. And we'll try to figure out what's wrong there, but 
on the website there isn't really that much info you can find on this read csv auto function so it's a mystery for another day so the other question i have is can i load the data by first reading it completely into r and then copying it over and how long would that take let's take a look well as you can see it took so it's about 14 minutes to do it this way so what if we uh, do a garbage collection and then we just time how long it takes to read this file alone well as you can see if you just read the file it takes just under two minutes so there you go that's a first look at DarkDB overall I think the performance is okay